Sorry about that. Oh, uh, we're back. I stopped it as soon as I could, so I'm you shouldn't have missed much perfect, dialogue. So, all I can do is rely on others to make up for my shortcomings. You do always rely on others whenever you're in trouble. Make sure you refresh the stream. Um, well, people that are watching, make sure you type to refresh to everyone else. But to rely on others, well, it's like you're entrusting yourself to them. You believe in them and put your fate in their hands. Should be there. If you can't figure out the perfect solution, then why not entrust it to someone else? Aww. Well, that's a one sure way for Master to solve this. You're always letting others make up your mind for you. <laughs> Can you cancel coalescence on your own? Hmm. Yes. Whoever wields coalescence can revoke it at any time. And if coalescence is cancelled, what will happen to him? He was never supposed to be in here to begin with, so he'll be tossed back into the real world. Well then, all that's left is for you to end your coalescence. I'll stay here and wait for you to destroy the mystery labyrinth from the real world. I'm sure your soul will vanish before then, Master. And what if I betrayed you instead? Even if I leave, I may not tell everyone the truth. You would never do that. It's how I know I can trust you with this. Yeah! <laughs> You'll never be a great detective, Master. I've been saying it all along, I like this idea of trust. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> You've got a good partner. She's not my I partner. See. You used to solve everything on your own. But since you lost everything along with your memories, you accepted the help of your partner and surpassed your former self. <laughs> How ironic. Very well. You can count on me. I'll take care of the rest. Damn, we fixed I'm him. I'm now going to cancel my coalescence. I can't believe we actually fixed him. We did it. You guys doubted me the whole time. We can't fix him. Makoto's too far gone. Nah, bro, he's fine. We fixed him just fine. Well, he's gone. Yeah. By the way, Master, you can still reconsider this. I can? If the soul of the real culprit gets reaped, the mystery labyrinth will be destroyed as usual. Right. I know, I know. But destroying the mystery labyrinth from outside is a smart idea for a goober like you. Though you did drop the ball right at the end. Even now you can't be nice? It may not be the perfect solution I wanted, but if everyone in Kanai Ward understands... Aww, but it's such a shame! I wanted to make you a detective greater than number one himself! But I guess this is it. What? Whoa, what's going on? Hmm? What do you mean? It's the mystery. I thought I was getting the exit. bad ending first. Emergency exit? Cool. An emergency exit, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, there is one, kinda. There is? But it doesn't solve anything. Oh, You'll just go right somewhere. back to the mess you came from. Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. And that is... Don't worry about it. Using it I didn't think I actually anyway. chose the right option by staying in. Huh? This door but now I feel the weird. Emergency exit? 
And you'll go back to the moment Makoto was pointing a gun at you before we entered the mystery labyrinth. But he should be fine now, so I'm sure you can leave without worry. Hmm. Wait, hold on. It's that easy? What about the heavy price? Oh, that. It's not much. It'll just cancel our pact. Yup. What? But if that happens, your memories will come this back. This is truly Maybe the best this ending. Would actually be better for you. I can get my memories back? Run to the exit. If I go through that Book door? Book it there. You got it. But what will happen to you if our pact is canceled? Hmm? Nothing you should worry about. Once you end our pact, you'll forget all about me and the mystery labyrinths. The best ending. Huh? Why? And that's how it goes with Death Gods. It's why our existence isn't exactly widely known. The same goes for the people who entered the Mystery Labyrinth using Coalescence. They forget all about it. But, but what will happen to you? Will you return to the book? Hmm. I can either return to the Book of Death and sleep for centuries, or vanish with this Mystery Labyrinth. Oh shit! I actually have no idea. It's the first time anybody's used the emergency exit. But I figured it'd be okay to let you use it, Master. Anyway, I guess this is goodbye. Hmm. I feel a little bit weird that throughout this whole game, she barely shows that she cares or like has sympathetic qualities whatsoever. But this is the first time that that's actually quite showing. Right at the end, though? Like, come on. What's with that face? You should be happy right now. You'll get your memories back and finally be free of your annoying partner. How could I be happy about this? You've helped me so much. Isn't there any way we can leave here together? Something, something soon today. She hasn't really Don't been a soon today though the whole time. You should be saying like I, I feel that she's again. only been that way and in like chapter 5, but she was never like that. You should tell me She's just kind of been like a straight bitch the whole time. Together. Otherwise, you'll make me second guess myself. Before you lost your memories, you solved cases without anyone's help, right? So I've heard. I don't remember, though. Well, because you lost your memories, you were forced to depend on others. You and number one began walking It just feels paths. really weird to see the caring side of the Sunjere, like, just the in the last chapter, or, but, like, completely absent the rest of the time. Before you lost like, if that memories, was sprinkled throughout the other chapters in her character a little bit more, I actually think I would like her more. Because I typically like Tsundere characters. Wasn't enough. But it kind of just, like, just showed up. So maybe you trusted the version of yourself that lost his memories to find it. And then you went and trusted the people of Kanai Ward, Master. That's all the more reason why I don't want to forget our time together. Otherwise... I'll never be able to apologize to you enough. There's no other way. That's just how it works. Well, if by some miracle you remembered for just a moment, I hope you make your wish come true. And suffer by being under. You know about I don't wanting know. to eradicate all unsolved mysteries. I'm not a writer. I don't really know. Making people happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Master! Boys aren't supposed to cry! I, I can't help it. Come on, pull yourself together. You better stand up and walk straight, even without yours truly. I'm putting my trust in you, Master. Yeah, I promise. One day, I'll show you a world 
where everyone is happy. Yeah, I wish I felt I like swear. any emotion in this. <laughs> this is supposed to be an emotional scene, and I don't There's care no at all. You better hurry, or the mystery labyrinth will absorb you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye, Master. Yep, nope. Thank you, Shinigami. everything doesn't it <laughs> remember to cosplay me I don't know people will definitely cosplay her for for sure for sure I just don't think it'll ever top Junko I've gotten that trainee detective to agree. The preparations are complete. Now, let's begin. I'll be taking all your memories. You sure about this? I would think I number one at the of end the of WDO the could solve the case all on his own. Thank no. you, Yoon, for the three months. Where I'm going, that's not sufficient to make everyone happy. Besides, it's best to pack light for a journey. You sound like someone about to commit suicide. I'm signing a pact with a death god. It's basically the same as dying. <laughs> You're right about that. I mean, you'll be a different person when you wake up. Look after me when I do. I know you won't be able to say much due to our pact, but please guide me on the path to becoming a detective. I'm putting my trust in you. You really are crazy. Nobody should trust a death god with their life. I have a feeling you and I will do well together. You sure you're brave enough to be my partner? You're not gonna whine the whole time, are you? I absolutely whined the whole well, time. I am so you sorry. Trusted yourself <laughs> Genuinely. To I'll be your mentor. I'll turn you from a little fledgling to a great detective. I look forward to it. Now, let's begin. Are you ready to give everything for the troop? Yes, of course. Ballsy move, man, ballsy. So, and about what you asked earlier. Did we actually fix Makoto? I'm I need serious. to see the resolution. I will show you a world where everyone is happy. Even if it's a different version of me, I promise I'll make it happen. So you're fine with every part of the pact? Yes, of course. You better keep your end of the bargain. Even if you forget all about me. Cross your heart and hope to die, Master. Woo! Now what? So we need, uh, like an epilogue or something now. 
I just want to make sure that Makoto followed through. Look at that stamina C as per usual. Going back to the beginning. Epilogue. It says epilogue. I have a cookie. C's get degrees. Exactly. More rain. Same as always. Until recently, I despised this rain. I thought it was just dark and sad. But now I see it differently. It's a gentle rain protecting us. A strange illusion appears when I look up at it. The rain isn't falling on me, but rather I am ascending toward it. At least, that's how it feels. Well, I suppose that's enough sentimentality for today. Time to go shopping. Okay. <laughs> First, a new raincoat. Oh, God. Why? Hi, Kurumi. I've got your order right here. Ta-da! Amaterasu Corporation's brand spanking new raincoat. It'll easily block out both rain and sunlight. Thank you. Wow. Amaterasu it blocks out sure sunlight too. Changed. Yo, we fixed him. We fucking fixed him. Just a bit ago, they mainly exported stuff. So we never knew what they were making. Let's go. But Mr. Makoto taking the helm of both Amaterasu and Kanai Ward really changed things. You guys doubted me every step of the yeah, way. You didn't think true. that we could fix Makoto. It's nice to have a local business invest in our town's interests. Of course, I hope they keep exporting goods so that more money comes into Kanai Ward. Well, I'm sure Mr. Makoto can handle it. You got that right. Glory to the future of Kanai Ward. Uh, by the way, what's with the heavy bag? You going somewhere? She's carrying a dead body. Yeah, something like that. I see. Well, take care. Good rain to you. Mm. Likewise. Megoto. <laughs> Next on the shopping list is... Right. Body cream. I will say, this is what I actually really like about Makoto is because like, okay, you could have, you could choose to have one brain cell and be like, Makoto bad, do bad thing. Or you could choose to have more brain cells and think it through like, okay, like put yourself in Makoto's shoes. Like I've, I've been thinking about this a lot. Obviously I'm simping for him hard. I really like his character, but put yourself in Makoto's shoes. Like it. I really don't blame him for his actions. It's a really tough place to be in. When you're like, I love the city, I love the people in it. These homunculi, like, they're defects, but they're not defects to me. I want to do what I can to save them. Like, there's not... There's not inherently a lot of fault in it. Well, of course there is, but... No matter how you look at it, there's fault. So, like, if you flip the situation around and you're like, okay, I just want to kill all these defects or, like, have the sunlight 
be out. Like, the, the defects are the reasons why the original humans died in the first place. So if Makoto just kept that going, more people would have just died, you know? So, no, like, on, on both sides of the spectrum, you have equally bad things. So Makoto's position that he was in from the beginning was hard. Like, you cannot win. It's a situation of, like, I gotta contain these homunculi, the defects. I gotta contain them somehow. Otherwise, like, people die. He still has a love for the city and these people. Well, people quote-unquote now. But it, it's not, it's not like a super simple solution. It's very... There's so many factors to it, and no matter what side of the spectrum you're on, people are going to die and get hurt. Um, could he have handled it better? Of course. Like, nobody is fucking perfect, but I don't blame him for his actions entirely because it's a very, very tough situation. Um, so yeah, it's why I really, uh, really like his character, especially in the end. I was a little bit worried whenever he said, like, I just want to be the CEO of Amaterasu and the WDO. It's like, oh, okay. But no, it's it's just like he actually has this love for the people and doesn't want to see these defects just like a die or go berserk. Um, definitely really, really good motivations there because it's just extremely tough to be in that position. And that's a lot of weight that is on his uh, shoulders, which is pretty impressive for the way that he's been acting as CEO. Like, he's been so driven by his motivations that I find it super interesting how he kept up that confidence for so long. But like, that's, that's not easy. Like, he always knew what he was doing was wrong to begin with, but is there a right way to do it? There's not really a right way to do it. But with the raincoat thing and like protecting them with the sunlight and the rain, like that's one step. And then they're probably going to change the meat bun thing. That's the next step that they got to look at. Like you can fix the, like the individual problems of the defects, uh, which he never really considered before until Yuma knocked some sense into him, which is super awesome. But Makoto is definitely ex is extremely intriguing. And I really love almost everything. He has really cool motivations. Ended up being like a lot cooler of a villain than I thought he'd be, honestly. It's cool. I like him. It's either the homunculi get trapped or persecuted by humans. Yeah. And you don't want to lose that part of the city, right? Like. And you can't kill the homunculi, too. Like, they just become more and more zombified as time goes. Oh. You're different. Excuse me. Do you have the body cream I ordered? Ah, uh, of course. Here you go. Specialized body cream that'll protect you from harmful sunlight. Even body cream? It's perfect for us homunculi. It's perfect for us homunculi. I can't believe I'm getting used to saying that. I never would have imagined. Oh, well, that's life. Oh, it was all so sudden. That day, Mr. Makoto startled all of us in Kanai Ward with that emergency broadcast. Oh! Seeing his face behind the mask was surprising enough. Who could have guessed we were all... Monstrous homunculi. We're not monsters. We're just a little bit different from regular people. Right. That's what Mr. Makoto said. Still, it's hard to accept it. And I'm not talking just about myself here. Everyone feels the same way. For now, I think we should just take it slow. Dang. If we can accept things slowly, we can live our lives with more hope. Right. We're immortal, after all. We've got plenty of time. Besides, we all made the decision together. After we voted on the referendum, we chose to follow Mr. Makoto. So yeah, like he said, 
We need to take it slow and live with hope. Yeah. I think that's right. The only thing I don't like is being Kurumi right now. Okie dokie. Next is... Oh, right. But I think she's like I the only person back. alive. Or no. Oh. My friends are dead. I just realized that. Now nah, they're not dead. See, look, the, the, it says that they're alive. <laughs> Wait, they had pink blood, didn't they? Wait a second. I, but maybe that wasn't them and their clothes in the factory. Wait, that didn't click until just now. Wait, now I'm confused. I think I just confused myself successfully. Cause yeah, that blood was uh very pink. Um, but they wait, but they, they 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 were not supposed to also be homunc. I'm. Hmm. We're about to find Since out. I'm sure. Then, the people in town have stopped eating meat buns. They're alive. No one wants them anymore. Now that we know what they're made of. I think that's a natural response. Our bodies may be artificial. But our hearts are still human. Now that we've been through the game, though, huh. I thought Kurumi would have more of an important role. I'd have to think about it, but like my first instinct is to say that she really was actually a pointless character in the end. Um, she did like a few me? things, but it just mm. kind of seems dumb on an overall scale. Oh, sorry. How can I help? I don't know. Do you have she's just like order? the love interest and she's supposed to be the uh, informant. The she map, gives us right? like some bits of information, but like outside of that, yes, her role has been right. like pretty now that minimal. Ward is no longer isolated, she's just there. I can order books from around the world. <laughs> I'm so giddy about it that I can't help but read every one. I understand. It's been a while since we were able to interact with anyone outside of the city. There have been a lot of problems, but Mr. Makoto is handling the negotiations. So I'm sure it'll be fine. It will be. Of course. <sighs> Mr. Makoto is so amazing. I know, isn't Even he? Even if it was decided by the referendum, he quickly mm. ended our isolation and promised to negotiate with the unified government as well. Although he did say it was his way of atoning, he was ready to turn himself in, but we stopped him from doing so with that referendum. Honestly, he doesn't have to force himself to work so hard. It'd be awful if he ever collapsed from it all. I love Makoto. Oh, I want to marry Makoto. Maybe homunculi don't get tired? Hmm, I'm not sure myself. Whatever the case, he better not overwork himself. He is Kanai Ward's leader, and leader of us homunculi. <laughs> you got that right. The coexistence between humanity and homunculi has just begun. Anyway, about that world map, what made you want to get it? Um... It's a secret. Sorry. It involves a high school girl's crush. A, a crush, huh? Um, so the net I must have my instant ramen. <clears throat> yeah, he did want to turn himself in. Makoto's the best. We're gonna go see uh, Mr. Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> Oh, 
all the meat bun shops vanished from town. But ramen shops popped up in their place. Oh, shit! Oh, Kurumi. Hi, you look busy. I sure am, but busy is great for business. I need to go inspect the grand openings for our three brand new locations. In a strange twist of fate, he appeared in Kanai War using his passion for cooking to develop ramen. Oh my god. Ultimately, he turned that ramen into something with all the nutrients a homunculus would need. And of course, it's super yummy, says everyone. Fate can be such an enigma. Although I originally made a contract with him, I ended up following him here out of guilt. This city was a shock to my system at first, but I was able to open up the ramen shop of my dreams. So I think coming here was the right call. Seriously though, fate can be so strange. Yes, I think so too. Oh, that's right. May I please have a multi-pack of instant ramen? For now, I need about a month's supply. Huh? A month? Sure thing, but why do you need so much? <laughs> It's a secret. Thank you. She's doing her you informant thing. While you're here? No, I'm okay for today. All right then. Well, good rain to you. Good yeah, rain to good you. Good rain to you too. <laughs> that expression. That's it for the shopping. I've safely completed all my preparations. I should head to the nocturnal detective agency. I better Oh, my friends aren't dead. Good rain to you. My friends aren't dead. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. My friends aren't dead. They're alive at the nocturnal detective agency. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so did Karumi eat her grandfather? Yikes. Damn. That's an image I didn't need for sure, though. <laughs> My friends aren't dead, right? Yeah. Wait, where's Vivia? Well then, let's get going. Can't believe we're saying goodbye to this place. After all is said and done, I'm gonna miss it. We have shared many memories here. But departure is just the start of a new adventure. Be sure to forget anything before we set sail. Hey, princess! Your suitcase? You've already forgotten something. Oh, <laughs> so true. Hey, everyone! You're all still here! I'm glad I made it in time. Kurumi! You came to see us off? Where are the others? Are any of my fans with you? No, it's just me. Huh? Oh, oh maybe they were too shy to come along. Where's Wait, Vivia? Where's Vivia? Oh my god. Vivia? What are you doing? Hey, Kurumi. I figured if I stayed inside a suitcase, someone would carry me. Long trips are exhausting. All journeys can be life-threatening. There is no peace or quiet. <laughs> 
never change, Vivia. What do you mean you never change, Vivia? You've like barely known these people for like more than a few hours, I swear to God. Wow. You all really are leaving, huh? Okay, maybe there's like some time in between Makoto doing this though. Maybe After she's been hanging out with him the past couple months. We stayed at the agency to monitor what would happen. But our work here is done. The city will be fine. Yeah, it's time we stepped off the stage. A bunch of detectives just sticking around isn't a great look. Why not? That's not true. Detectives are heroes to me. They're best Can friends. I ward is free. If you ever need us, we shall fly to your aid. I've spoken to Makoto as well. If Kanai Ward ever needs detectives, he can call us anytime. Wait, you spoke to Makoto? Excuse Laura me, that's Knight my boyfriend. Service. Obviously, I don't work for cheap. So, <gasps> wait! Where do you go now? Oh my god, that is that's a great solution to pay off Halara. Just date a rich guy. That's it. We date a rich guy. We date Makoto and then pays off Alara debt. I knew we were fated to date Makoto from the very beginning. For now, we're heading back to WDO headquarters. We don't know what'll happen after that. I'm sure we'll be dispatched to some other job. <laughs> The World Detective Organization can be such slave drivers. Dating your clone? Don't worry about the details. Um, I thought WDO headquarters was bombed in that terrorist attack. Oh, come on. How many times do I have to explain it to you? The explosion footage we saw was all a sham. A sham? So it never really happened? Why would anyone do such a thing? For what purpose? Make them shoulder your debts and then you dump them or kill them. I'm Makoto. not killing Makoto. It wasn't the only thing he fabricated. He made it look like we died too. He prepared clothes identical to our outfits and also found skeletons similar to our body types. Yeah. I Damn, Makoto, you went hard. That. I can't believe you got duped like that, Kurumi. Nothing can kill us. There were letters written by everyone, and I was told it looked like your handwriting. I hear that was thanks to Makoto's coalescence. Fortes are indeed formidable. I would expect nothing less of number one's homunculus. Homunculus? Oh my god, please. Why don't you get it? My apologies. Do you even know how- After you were knocked out, you all woke up on the top floor of Kanai Tower, right? Yeah. It was Makoto's room. We were trapped in there. While we were locked up, the final battle took place. Damn. Kurumi, you were there, right? Yes. But only for half of it, really. To think this was all for the final showdown. It was nothing but a ploy by Makoto to lure Yuma here, who took the lead role. Jeez. It's all so unbelievable. Then again, almost everything in this city is too. Yet, what I still struggle to comprehend is that Yuma was number one of the WDO. <sighs> right. Even I didn't realize it. <laughs> Who would have thought my man is the top detective of the WDO? Former top detective. He already left the organization. It is such a waste for him to simply discard his position as number one. I mean, you can just give it to Makoto. His letter of resignation was submitted before he lost his memories. Oh. He had hoped that by quitting, he could bring change to the organization. In I this new that. era, a detective must follow their own creed to solve each case. 
He took the first steps to make that reality happen. I think it's commendable. Maybe I should quit too. <laughs> Work as a detective is getting more and more exhausting. <laughs> you were so quick to call it quits. But where did Yuma, I mean the former number one, go? I think it's fine to call him Yuma. It feels better that way. He vanished without a word. I have no idea where he could be. He's hanging out at the Kanai <sighs> Tower with Makoto. Rumi, I'm sure you're worried too. Huh? Um, I'm not sure if worried is exactly the right word. <sighs> What? Um, there's something I want to say to everyone. You're going to find him, right? Huh? It doesn't take a detective to notice the giant backpack you're carrying. Takes Rumi, one to know one. Are you really going to try to find Yuma? Do you know where he went? You still want to go? I... haven't said goodbye yet. Actually, I refuse to say goodbye. I... had a lot of fun spending time with Yuma. I didn't. I've always admired detectives. And investigating with them was like a dream come true. That's why I want to be with him. Even if he's different now, Yuma will always be Yuma. Come on. If you're gonna confess you love him, just tell him. Huh? No! That's not what I meant! This is so weird. There's like no connection Besides, at all there. I've always wanted She's to literally him. just his number one fan. It's why I got permission from and this Mr. is so Makoto weird to, to me. travel. It'll be fine. I'm sure I can find him. Never underestimate my abilities as an informant. Right. I believe you can do it, Kurumi. A master detective and former number one of the WDO, and a homunculus informant. I think you two would make a great team. I don't. Well, we should get going now. Yeah, thank you, Halara. <laughs> Since he quit, the WDO is in a state of chaos. Number one's position is still vacant. An election to decide the next number one will be held among the detectives soon. We need to hurry home. Maybe I'll nominate myself. Hey, why are you sighing? <laughs> if you find Yuma, give him my regards. Also, tell him I'm still waiting for him to pay up. Uh, send the bill to Makoto. Decide to ditch Yuma for me? Give me a call anytime. <laughs> when you do, I hope you'll introduce me to your friends too. And even your friends' friends. It could have been handled better. Oh, Kurumi could have been handled so much better. See ya. She definitely comes across as like half assed to me. Bye, Kurumi! Like let's meet again. If they if they writ her wrote her a little bit like better into the story. I feel like I would like her a lot more, but I just end up being a lot more annoyed by her involvement it is so because it's always so well, minimal. But all adventures involve such partings. And her involvement also like I barely matters at any adventure. point in time. Please take care of yourself, Kurumi. Very, very small things. And of course, I must thank the chief as well. Aww. With all my heart. Farewell, everyone. Bye, Kabuki. I hope to see you somewhere out there in the world. <gasps> oh. 
he stepped out. Oh, damn. No one's gonna carry me. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Walking is way too much effort. It was rather comfortable in there. I know this may sound like a bad joke, given what you are, but... <sighs> I want to die someday. Please take care, Vivia! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Everyone is gone. <laughs> Kirby be like, am I a joke to you? I won't give up. Okay, I better get going too. Chief Yako, thank you so much. I met so many people and learned an important truth. It's all thanks to this detective agency. I'm really, truly grateful. Vivio literally never had any L's, yeah. Dear Karumi, I'm sorry for suddenly disappearing on you. I thought I should take a little trip. From here on out, I intend to travel the world. There are still cities everywhere in need of detectives. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. So, I have to go. This is my dream. And also, an important promise I made to someone. In the meantime, I want you to hold on to this book for me. Someday, once I'm finished, I'll come back for it. Someday, he says. I may be immortal, but I'm not that patient. Yep, I feel like that book and, and letter should have just gone to Makoto. <laughs> Really? There was like no connection. I, I don't I don't understand that. That is a really cool visual. It's just hard for me to see or feel any connection to her. <sighs> you think they'll make a sequel to this game? Maybe? I don't know, I don't see it. KG Tang, hell yeah. Hell yeah. like a crap ton of thoughts some I've said before about the game and some new it is really loud though it's like really loud um uh, yeah, you know, like, this game definitely has, like, the heavy, heavy ding and rope treatment, and, um, I'm not gonna lie, I still actually prefer ding and rope to this game. The pacing is just so bad, like, I didn't care about the game until chapter four, which, uh, yikes. I, I like the, I like the very first case. The very first case, how you start the game is intriguing, but, like, chapter one, two, three, like, fuck it. They were so dumb. I, didn't, I don't think I liked any of them. Um, like, it only started to get good at Chapter 4, in my opinion. It was just so damn slow and so damn fluffy. 
And holy hell. Um, and people make a lot of really dumbass comparisons too. Some people are like, I know I've been like reading some like very minimal comments here and there. Like some people are like, you, you, you're not going to complain about like Persona 5's fluffy dialogue, but you're going to complain about Rain Code as if those th two things are even comparable in the slightest thing. Oh my god. But yeah, god, this game would be so, so, so much better if they cut out like 30%, I would say, of their dialogue and script because so much of it was so goddamn pointless. And like, fluffy dialogue is fine, as long as it has a purpose. Like, the point of having fluffy dialogue is to get you attached to characters. But the dialogue felt so stupid that I got attached to no one. <laughs> like, the only people I got attached to in this whole game were Vivian and Makoto. That's it. Like... Fluffiness is not inherently the issue, is having meaningful script, I feel like, this game severely lacked. Um, like, the script just felt so pointless most of the time. Like, if I'm being honest, this game is like a 6 out of 10 for me. Which is a shame, because chapter 4 and 5 were really, really good. Um, like, the, the ending was really strong, but they really needed that at the beginning of the game. This game is a 4 out of 10 for you? I don't even know. I might be being generous, but chapter is, uh... Yeah, with it, with only my... With only liking, like, chapter 0, 4, and 5, pretty much. Chapter 2 wasn't terrible, but it's still... I could have done without. 6 out of 10, I think, is my rating. Maybe 5. I don't know. I'll think about it more. Maybe I'm being a little bit more generous right now. But, yeah, wow. Uh, I just wish they put more into giving meaning to the script, even in the fluffy moments. The only visual novels you got into are like Ace Attorney games. Yeah. I do like visual novels. I actually really liked AI Somnium Files. I wish this game took more of that direction. I really liked AI Somnium Files. No, I well, I think that's just one small issue of the game is like how the how the story develops. How the story develops is like one issue, but my main thing are like kind of the characters. I, I wanted to care more about Kurumi. I genuinely did want to care more about Kurumi, but the game gave me nothing to go on. You get like one or two heartfelt scenes with her, but even then they're really shallow. Like they, they don't they don't give you much there. And then she like uh, I don't know, I don't want to go on a big rant on Kurumi again, but you know how I feel, I already said it. They made her way too important for being a character that does practically bare bones. Nothing. She does some no, things, no, but no, not no, enough. No. Yeah, chapter zero. I mean, chapter zero wasn't entirely irrelevant. You still get the blood. I still like that the attention to detail with burning corpses rather than having any blood show. Please. I need information. We did it, boss! <clears throat> that was easy. <clears> hmm. <throat> There's a murder investigation over there. Seriously? Again? Maybe they will do a sequel. Oh my god, I swear to god, if the sequel of the game uses Kurumi as a protagonist, I'm going to fuck it. Mm, I'm not playing it. <laughs> um, 
God, fuck that. Um, uh, <laughs> shit. Um, okay, so maybe they will do a sequel. I don't know. I guess it could be up in the air. But anyway, um, what else? There's there are a lot of like little things with this game. The QTEs. Talking about gameplay wise. Uh, it's at least a little bit... I think that there's some quality of life that should be appreciated in this game comparison to Danganronpa and those minigames, because we all know that they're pretty much the same thing. Um, so, QTEs were definitely the worst part, though. Definitely needed more there. Uh, or less there, or more time. My reaction time, like, I'm a grandma, dude. I can't react that fast. I can't read and then comprehend what I'm reading that fast and then select a choice. Very fast. <laughs> I'm dumb. <clears throat> the pacing of the labyrinths felt clunky. Ah! There were some dumb things in the labyrinth, uh, but I actually think that they didn't do a bad job with it. I don't know. That's actually... I don't have any complaints on the mystery labyrinths outside of the gameplay, which I never really was a huge fan of coming from Danganronpa either, but they at least had some better quality there. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but there was at, it was at least a little bit better. Um... Yeah, I didn't mind the labyrinth. There were uh, just a few minor things that came up in some cases that I was like, oh, this is dumb, but... Um, yeah, no, didn't, didn't mind the labyrinths. And then there's Shinigami, which I know a lot of people like, and that is fine and more power to you, but like... Don't be hating on me for not liking Shinigami, because holy shit. She really ruined a lot of the game for me. Like, I hate saying that. It just was so fucking annoying. Like, I wish I could be nicer about it, but she really did ruin so much of the game for me. I just really wish she would shut the fuck up, like, more than half of the time. Or, like, if she kept her dialogue, the amount of which, like, the amount of which she needlessly talked, make it more meaningful and not being such a bitch 100% of the time? Like, I would have liked a little bit more sympathy that wasn't just thrown in at the end there just something like of course she cared but they only showed that in the last like 15 minutes of the fucking game it would have been nice to have that placed sporadically throughout her character rather than just plucked at the end because that was super super frustrating um but yeah she's just totally unlikable for me in almost every way oh yeah yeah just way too much dialogue. If they would have cut out like 50% of her dialogue in the first four chapters, I would have been happy. But I ended up really liking chapter four and five. I mean, the cases were really, really interesting uh, finally at that point, but also I think because Shinigami talked also 50% less in those cases, it made it a lot more enjoyable for me. Just did not, did not enjoy that at all. Yeah, I mean, she is supposed to hit a lot of those, like, fetishes for people, like, but, yeah, just, just the dialogue, way too much, way too much. Um, like I said at the beginning, toward the beginning of the game, I think that generally less is more, and that's what I was hoping they would do more with Shinigami as the game went on, but they took too long to do it. Like, you don't need to fill every space with dialogue, you know? I don't need, just because I'm walking in silence for five minutes does not mean, or five seconds. Just because I'm walking down a street for five seconds does not mean I need somebody like Shinigami to speak and have dialogue in those five seconds. I don't need speech at every moment of the game. It was just way too inserted. Like I can, I can have silence, that's okay. I really, I really don't need dialogue every two seconds. So that in itself was way too much too. Uh, I don't know. I don't find her comparable to Monokuma at all because Monokuma's involvement in the plot is a lot less than Shinigami's. 
I can guarantee you I would hate I would hate Monokuma a lot more if he was like next to you the whole time just like being a little bitch that never shuts up over your shoulder like Monokuma at least ha has nice pacing between the lines otherwise if he was inserted more I would I would definitely feel the same way as Shinigami but a lot of it is just so much so much insert that just seems so pointless with her <clears throat> Does Kadoka know his audience? I don't think so. <laughs> because I don't I don't think he knows his audience. I think that's part of the issue. Um I don't know how well these games go in Japan, but the thing is, I've said this before, a lot of Danganronpa's success is based on memes, not based on the fact that it's a good game. I've said that before, and it's probably controversial. But like I genuinely don't feel like Danganronpa is an amazing game. I don't think it's good at all. I think it's just hilarious and extremely unique. That's all. Like, it's it's just a very unique gaming experience, but I would in no way, shape, or form say that those games are good. It's weird. Um, they I think they could be much better than what they are, but like it doesn't really matter because the success, they, they still have been like immensely successful. Um, based on, like, their memes and the characters that people love and stuff, but, like, I still don't think they're that great. <clears throat> the Danganronpa format is the only thing he's good at writing. Yeah, I mean, like, that's his thing, and that's fine. Every writer is the same way. You know, most writers have their shtick that they are good at writing, and that's what they stick with. Um, I really liked AI Somnium Files, though. AI Somnium Files, I actually would say that that was a good game. Those, both of them were good games. Really enjoyed those. I was hoping this game would have more of that direction, personally. Wait, what do you mean people were reading forums from Danganronpa? I don't know what you mean. But yeah, I think still my favorite game, well, I really do like AI Somnium Files, but Danganronpa 2 is definitely one that sticks out to me just because of Nagito. Just the only really, really intriguing character that really carries the whole game on his back. But still, I wouldn't, like, just because one character made the game for me, I still wouldn't say it's a great game. <laughs> Like, definitely he saved the entire game for me and made it one of my favorites, but... Yeah. He knows his audience, he creates his games based on how much the audience will get riled, not really to impress them with deep good writing. Oh! You think he does that on purpose, though? I don't think he does that on purpose. I think there's a certain degree. I think that no doubt there's a certain degree that he writes like that on purpose, but at the same time, he can't genuinely think that all of that fluffy ass dialogue was good writing. Ain't no way. I have a hard time believing that. I know he does a bit of trolling, but I, I refuse to believe that that is the entire truth of it. You think that the V3's ending actually made me hate this game even more than the, for spoiler reasons? Yeah, I know that that's a very controversial ending. I personally don't really care. I don't get emotionally invested in things like Danganronpa. <laughs> I'm there for the murder mystery. <laughs> that's all I'm there for. Hmm. Yeah. It was definitely really hard to get invested outside outside of Nagito for me. Hmm. But yeah. I am prepared to get a lot of flack for my dumbass opinions. <laughs> That's okay. 
but I will say overall, I did enjoy the game, especially toward the ending. It finally picked up. It finally felt like it wasn't just dumbass cases, <laughs> starting with chapter four at least. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy that the ending was really satisfying. So it made it feel like my suffering of four chapters that were super mid, it made it feel worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> And I'm really happy and thankful for that, at the very least. But, um, yeah, at least I've given my solid reasoning as to why I'm, this game has just like a lot of issues for me that aren't so okay. Like, I, it's okay for games to have flaws and stuff. No game is going to be absolutely perfect, uh, but the flaws definitely stand out way too much for me in this game. You thought I would drop this game? No, actually, what kept me going in this game was the overarching mystery. Like, me just asking myself the big overarching question of, um, like, what is the role of Amaterasu Company on a global scale? And the rain I kept questioning. Like, those overarching mysteries is what kept me going. But yeah, individual cases I really did not give a shit about. Yeah, the thing is, though, like, I can tell somebody, oh, this game gets good at Chapter 4, but I'm not going to recommend this game to my friends if I'm completely honest. <laughs> like, this is not a game I would recommend anyone to play if I'm being the completely honest. I mean, I hate to say that, I'm sorry. Um, like, I'm not going to make somebody suffer four chapters just for it to get good, including Chapter 0, you know? Makoto is fantastic. An amazing character. Definitely one of the better villains that they've written, for sure. Um, if not the best. But it's not, It I cannot justify forcing someone to play through all the beginning of this game just to get to the good shit. Who the hell buys a game knowing it'll get good at the end? Yeah, it's really rough. It's really rough. And I would genuinely feel bad if I recommended someone to go, like, go through that but at the same time everybody has different tastes like i know that i am definitely probably the minority most people probably really like the beginning of the game and you know what more power to you please tell me if you do because i would love to see all the people uh be like yeah i love the beginning of this game because that genuinely makes me happy like i want people to enjoy it where where i failed to enjoy the beginning of the game um I, I want that because I want the dev team side to still see that, you know? No, nah, I think they're done with AI Somnium Files. I don't think we're going to get a three. Pretty sure it's done, done. Uh, your turn to die. I have heard of that game. Is it not on my list? I think, I think that game's on my games list. Yeah, chapter zero was still a good chapter. It got me at least invested in what was going on on an overarching scale. But yeah, chapter one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I definitely know I'm the minority with uh, not liking Shinigami like almost at all. <laughs> I know I'm the minority there. Trust me, um, I'm already really fucking annoyed by the YouTube comments. Oh my god. People are giving me, like, the dumbest ass reasons, too. They're like, well, I really like Shinigami, so your opinions are invalid. Like, people are being so fucking rude. Which I expect. I'm sorry, but I expect that out of the Danganronpa fandom. <laughs> uh, I'm not allowed to have an opinion or not like a character. Um, it's fine. I expect that. But yeah, I do see that most people like Shinigami, which honestly, more power to you. Just don't be fucking rude to me. That's all I ask. <laughs> like, that's all. Um, yep, I just, I just found her annoying. That's just it. No, 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 don't bonk people on YouTube. It's fine. I know that people are going to give me shit. It's the same thing as Danganropa. Danganropa comments were also really fucking awful. 
It's just the fandom in general. <laughs> it's whatever. Oh, I want to play... I want to play Zero Escape. I do want to play all these games. But, okay, so since I unexpectedly finished this game today, this kind of, like, really threw me for a loop. Um... I, I didn't expect to finish today, so I guess tomorrow I play Hollow Knight? Like, I think that's happening? <laughs> I'm, like, really confused because I didn't expect this to happen. Um, so tomorrow we start Hollow Knight. We'll play that, okay? Yeah, Hollow Knight. That's the next one on the list. So I think for right now, my next list of games is going to be Hollow Knight. We'll start tomorrow. After that, it'll be finally Digital Devil Saga. So many of you fucking requesting this game, man. Digital Devil Saga. After that, Devil Survivor. If we have extra time, Strange Journey. Gonna go through all of them. 